speed. <laughs> oh, I'm getting up there. <laughs> All right, you ready? Yep. Let's entertain the masses, my friend. We got this, dude. YouTube trending, here we come. Yep. Ah. Oh! <laughs> Have you ever lost an Amazon package? No. I have. <laughs> We're going to be surviving fully off Amazon packages today. And what we need to survive is we need food, we need shelter, we need something to make a fishing lure with, and we need fire. Everything we have to get from inside the Black Friday store, the Amazon store, whatever you want to call it. We found a local store that takes all lost packages and they put them in these bins and sell them for discounted prices. We're going to go in for 10 minutes, $100. See what we can find. The weird thing about stores like this is one we've never been to one so we don't even know how it works. I think you just grab whatever you want but we need to find everything we need to survive and there's so much competition out here so I don't know if they have. I mean they gotta sell tents on Amazon right? <laughs> Dude, I don't know but there's so many people in here. I've never seen a store do this well. Ooh. It is gonna be 27 degrees tonight and me and Norm both have shorts on. We have Two comforters, unicorn comforters, a penguin pillow. Where do you live in lavishly? Today in the store, everything is only five bucks, which is pretty cool considering our budget is a hundred dollars. No, oh, oh, never mind. It's a fashion case. Um, God, dude, this is so weird. Uh, You're supposed to open the boxes. Coffee. Not a big coffee guy. Got a sensitive tummy. Gets me every time. All right, we're getting down and dirty. We're getting into it. There's a 10 pound chicken metal feeder. Boost. Free game energy. I'm gonna get two of them. I don't know if that's worth five bucks, but. Are these brass knuckles? <laughs> Dude, no way. I think I just found, right? <laughs> I just got, dude, we might need some protection. The part of the river we're going to is like, it's not known as like necessarily the safest place. Crime goes down there, so we have a weapon. That wasn't part of the original category. It's like so easy to get lost in here. There's so much stuff everywhere. Bro. Wait, is it all this five bucks? Yeah. Oh, are you? I'm pretty nervous to film in here, to be honest with you. There's people everywhere. You know what I'm saying? But I appreciate you coming through, man. I snack nervously, so I might eat these before I get out of here. Yeah. What's your name, bro? Levi. Levi, good to meet you, man. Thank you. <laughs> this is a can of lard. <laughs> They're bringing out new stuff. Why is everybody lining up? Is there like a parade happening? Everybody in the store is just kind of going to the middle. Are they bringing out new bins? Oh! No. It's the weirdest store I've ever been to in my life. What is going on? Oh, no, man. Never been here before. <laughs> Today's video is brought to you by SeatGeek. With over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app. SeatGeek has over 70,000 events every day from NFL games to college football games to concerts. Billy Joel out there busting a tune, even NBA games. Me and my wife could have used SeatGeek to get some pretty good seats, but instead on my anniversary three years ago, she bought me nose bleeders. So I had to break through security, cut off a five-year-old kid, made a rope out of my Sperry's, dangled my jersey down where Steph Curry walks, and he ended up signing. Still smells like them. The really cool thing about SeatGeek is they want you to find the best seats possible. So you click on your event, it's gonna show you the stadium, and then every good deal is gonna light up green. Every bad deal is gonna be red, yellow's kinda mediocre, like my body type. Every ticket is backed by the buyer's guarantee, and SeatGeek is the only site that lets you swap tickets before the event using swaps. So you use my code AOFishing, you get $20 off your tickets at SeatGeek. That's 20 bucks off your first purchase at SeatGeek. Use my code AOFishing. Make sure to click on the link in the description. Thanks to SeatGeek. I'm going in, dude. Bro, come on, I'm leaving the cart. Dude, I start grabbing 
Hey, yo, get in there, dude. We're the biggest guy. I guess we got. I just. Oh, dude, I'm allergic to crab. This is spicy seafood. I would love to find some shelter. All right, so they just brought out a new bin. Everybody's going crazy. I found chocolate. I found shelter. Somebody was about to grab it. I scooped it right from them. They're poor children. We're about to have a toy. Scoop some survival gear. Where's Ao? Oh, uh, I'm gonna put this down. Get back in there. Slingshot ammo. If there's a slingshot in here, bro. I'm so sorry. Excuse me. Oh, I think I see a pocket knife. Sorry about that. <laughs> That so look like a pocket knife, but it's just a pedal converter. Dang it. Dude, the competition is real out here. What is this? No way. This looks like tent poles. I don't know. Is it a shoe rack? I'm glad you're here. I would have bought that as a tent. Yeah, we're doing a survival challenge, so trying to find some stuff to survive on. Oh, we have the food area. Good call. Dude, everybody's just starting to help us now. It's like we were competing at first, but now they just want to see us survive. Let's go. They have Pokemon, guys. I found the mother load of Pokemon. I don't even know what these are. What in the world? It's like golden playing cards. These gotta be fake. I don't think I've ever seen this before. Lamp, horse trough protector. So much random stuff, dude. Oh, the matching lunchbox? You're kidding me. I used to have one of these that was huge when I was a kid. I'd wear it like I was pregnant. Trusted nutrition's for your trusty companion. Bro. I could be dumb, but this looks like a body heat survival blanket. I'm almost positive that's what that is. But we're definitely getting way more than we said we would. We're gonna have to go through everything we grab because it's so competitive in here. Emergency sleeping bag? No. And there's two? Z-Moon emergency sleeping bag for hiking outdoors. Oh, I'm so glad. I hate these things. This was like my first good find. Dog treat. Shoe rack. Some type of hammock? Swing is intended for children three and up. Yeah, it might not be the best fit. There's gotta be some tarp or tent or something in here. I found the secret. You gotta get deep in here. You can't just skim over. You gotta get your elbows involved. Boom. I had a basketball coach shaped just like this when I was in like ninth grade. That man could get in a defensive stance. We need shelter. Shelter is like the thing that we're lacking most right now. I don't know if Norm's done anything. I need to meet him, see what he's got. So, I found the shelter. And don't worry. <laughs> I got two of them. I fought a lady over this, dude. Her children were probably gonna have a great night. Why would you do I took such the toys from her because we had to survive, what, dude. What, what's the weight? What's the? It's not a weight limit, dude. What's it's the just size? it's, it's a the roof size? to sleep on, dude. It's at least big enough. Like, look, it's literally a tent. It says kids tent. We didn't know if we were gonna find a tent. I found us two tents. Well, I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of pumped on this because I yeah. could not. But let me show you what I found. Two emergency survival what? sleeping bags. <laughs> that is perfect. Isn't that crazy? We're sleeping good. Oh, dude, I also, I gotta show you this too. Dude, I found protein bars, bro. That's, that's yeah. big. I so, hate mint chocolate, but that's big. Yeah. Protein. Protein. You gotta have it, man. Surviving, dude. So we have so. sleeping, shelter, fishing rod, food, fishing rod. We need to build lures and a fire starter. Yes. Got so it. let's look for it. All right. It's a lot of adult hormones. What is this? 
please be a tarp. Bathroom trash bin liners. Camping travel cushion pillow. Should we just get it and not tell Ao? Yeah. Have you seen this costume before? It's I like. Seen it, but that's fire. I'm getting it. Dude, this is gonna seem fake because we're finding so much survival stuff. I've always wanted one of the inflatable alien suits. We shouldn't tell Norm, I just run out of the woods. Fire, bro, Duraflame. Literally the easiest thing to set on fire. Lights fully in less than five minutes, burns cleaner than wood, burns up to three hours. So if we could light this on fire, I mean, we're pretty much good. This is like the easiest way to start. As soon as you have a little bit of a flame, this whole thing will ignite, so. That's crazy. They like literally had everything we needed. The only way this could be better is if we found like a lighter, but I'm feeling confident. Oh my gosh. What if? Just found a two pack of flashlights. Do not come with batteries though. Oh, they do. You find like a lighter or anything? <laughs> I got it. <laughs> do it look good though? <laughs> yeah, you, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. You might should keep that. Okay, not my favorite fire starter, but I've done it before. Smart. I've done it before. Have you? I have. It's been yeah. years. And this is a large one. I think this could be exactly what we need. I can't see a thing, dude. <laughs> well, I mean, it's what they see, not what we see. Oh yeah, I see a successful survival challenge. I do too. This is coming together quite nicely. Oh, I see uh, Jeremy. Jeremy, if you're not subscribed, what, what are you watching? <laughs> I was trying to do a subscriber plugs, you yeah. know, like where they subscribe. Like, cause Jeremy's gonna be like, that's weird. That's like, weird, there's gotta be Jeremy. Jeremy. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I got you, man. This has to be the most interesting store I've ever been to in my life. Same. Hey, Top. Don't be thinking about naked women now. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yeah. All right. We have $100 worth of lost Amazon goods. We also only have one hour left of daylight to do everything that we said we would do in the intro. Build shelter, build a fire, catch and cook a fish, and survive. We have a nice little camping area. We're posted up right next to my favorite fishing spot. We're gonna spend 30 minutes, try to build fire, set up camp, then we're gonna go fish. So our only way to make fire is with a magnifying glass and channeling the sun into such a precise point to start a spark on our Dura Flame. It's overcast, we're in the middle of the woods though, so. Is it even casting any type of beam? Am I dumb or could we use a flashlight? <laughs> yeah, ew. <laughs> I don't know, man. We down bad? I'm not gonna lie. We might be down bad. Good news is we bought like 90 boxes of protein bars. So technically, if we don't have a fire, we don't die. It's just not a good thing for an overcast day. I didn't see any dimensions. <laughs> I don't know, and it says kids on it. Three which, and up, that's it. Yeah, like three plus kids or three year olds, we don't know. Like how many kids can fit in this thing? <laughs> I'm curious for my own. Don't look at me, don't make me look bad, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so I was gonna say for my own ability to sleep in it tonight, dude. I wasn't gonna stuff kids in it. Thanks for clarifying. <laughs> it's it says, tiny. It says, please do not lick and bite this product, man. <laughs> I have a feeling this is gonna be three by three foot, like a three foot circle. Let me say three, I'm just think. <gasps> That's tiny, bro. <laughs> That nope. is tiny. But dude, you're not thinking about how it's gonna get 19 degrees outside tonight and we're gonna be so warm in these. Oh, I was so hoping they were gonna be so much bigger. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. dude. At least we found a tent, man. Be grateful for that. Yeah, there was nothing else in there. There was no tarps. Closest thing I found was trash bags.
Bro, I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't know what I'm doing. Wow, this is uh... <laughs> not very spacious, but we are protected from, not really protected from rain. There's a huge window on every side of me, but it's the only tent that they had. I guess people don't really lose a lot of tents. They do lose a lot of protein though. You'd be surprised. Get in the hole already. Dude, okay, maybe it was for three year olds. Emergency sleeping bag. Just keep them in your pocket by Z Moon. If you ever need to sleep and it's an emergency. Here you go, brother. Oh, shoot. Cheers, man. Oh, no. Uh oh, it's orange. Oh, no. Oh. That is exactly what we were hoping for. <laughs> It's an actual oh. sleeping bag though. So, if you've never seen one of these, this is a reflective material. It reflects heat inwards. Never seen a sleeping bag made out of a material though. Typically it's just a little sheet that you sleep under. These bad boys can completely fit in. It's like an emergency blanket, but cocoon style. Look at this. Oh my gosh, it's really thin. Somebody ordered these. <laughs> and now they're dead. <laughs> These might actually be pretty nice because it's going to be 25 degrees tonight. Yeah, we need anything we can get. And I did blow my nose into the Carl blanket. So... So we have two pillows. We have an actual camping pillow. These things are actually pretty expensive. Five bucks was a snag. Zoo. Oh, this is one of the inflatable ones with the memory foam. Wow. It smells like it's been used for sure. Something rattles in there. Too. Yeah, there's something in there. I'm about to cut it open. Not till tomorrow morning. Shelter, sleeping arrangements. I've been done. I say we try to catch food first. We barely have any daylight. Get mm -hmm. on the water, then we'll figure out warmth. Well, this trail is a little bit thicker than I remembered. And I got my fubus on. Good luck. Oh, so many briars, dude. Oh, oh. <laughs> you good? I'm great. Oh, nature is just poking me. Oh, dude, somebody put a little handrail. That's when you know your spots have got burned. Oh, it's so slippery, dude. Dude, they made a little walkway for you. Oh, yeah, dude, I just <laughs> took that walking beat to the calf, man. <laughs> just wanted to make sure my calf still had nerves in it. Oh, yeah. The one thing about this spot is you cannot fish it from the bank. It's maybe an inch or two deep, 100 yards out. So we got to get a little soggy. Oh, dude, our feet are going to be cold. We're going to be cold all night. Dude. Oh, gosh, Wait, are these dude. waterproof? A little. I'm not even wet yet. <sighs> oh, my gosh, dude. <laughs> dude, I didn't feel a single thing. I was expecting to feel the cold. And nothing's happened. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I went over the seam. Oh, frick, 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 frick. Dude, I don't like this. Dude, come on. I don't like this, yeah. Dude. I'm, dude, I'm coming on, but I'm just letting you know I don't like it. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, my ankles are kind of getting that deep soreness, like I'm in an ice bath. We're so close. Dude, I'm like always so afraid to twist the ankle in this. <laughs> You're just one step away from the hospital. Oh. <sighs> we probably have 20 minutes until it's completely dark. Well folks, the sun is setting. And that's perfect time. The first hour of the day and the last hour of the day for top water and even night fishing. So I got a top water walking bait tied on. I don't know necessarily where it gets deep out here. Seems like the water's pretty down from the one time Ao took me out here, but we caught quite a few fish, but not on top water. So I don't know why I tied this on, but we'll see. We could definitely use some dinner tonight, but if we catch a fish, we're gonna have to worry about fire, which is mainly my biggest concern. <laughs> Oh my. Oh gosh. Oh no, 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 no. Did he snap you off? 
he munched it he had the worm also set the hook like it was a tiger shark yeah top water and november conditions might have not been the smartest move we just saw while we were walking down here a ton of fish blowing up on top water thought it would have been so cool to catch one on it still got a chance literally eight five yards off the bank something come up for that come on it looks so good give me another shot please Dude, I got munched. I thought it was a rock. Well, fishing was kind of a bust. Did you even get yeah. bit? There was no busting on my lure. Dang, that sucks. The cool thing about this river is it's literally littered with crawfish. We have our double flashlight rigs. <laughs> I knew it every time. <laughs> we have our double flashlight rigs and an old water bottle. We're going to try to capture some crawdads. Don't tell me you broke yours already. Yeah, yeah mine doesn't work, dude. I oh. knew it. So when I grew up, we had nothing to do in town, so we just turned to the river. We just played in Atlanta sewage for days on end. We would come down these steps after practice, football practice, just soak our toes in. We started getting nibbled up on by crawfish. Came our crawfish honey hole. <gasps> no. What is that? Oh, it's a little brim. fish. No, but look right here. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? No. <gasps> There's a crawfish under here. I'm not, not even big. kidding. It might be a giant. Ready? You see this little crease? Ease it, ease it slow. All right, ready? Yep. Here, here. That dude is quick. <laughs> you saw he that? He went right though? there. Where is he? Right in that crease. He's fast and aware of our presence. Let's try to be quiet and get some. I'll cover water this way if you cover that way. Gosh, this is scary. Only part that sucks is it's getting cold right now. So most of these crawfish are pushing to deeper water. I feel like they're at about eight, 10 foot of water. And I am not doing that. Oh, oh, dude, a giant. I, I, I don't know if I can grab him. It's huge. <laughs> it's huge. I'm like scared, bro. It's massive. Like, that's dinner. You see him? Look right here. Look, look, look. Slow, 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 slow. Look at him. I looked dude, at him this big it's rock. It's not even that big. Dude, that's a big. What are you talking about? It's a massive crawfish. Okay, yeah, yeah. Now that I'm yeah. on it, it's a lobster. <laughs> okay. All right, just everybody remain calm. <gasps> okay. You got him? Oh my oh. gosh. <laughs> <laughs> it is huge. That is huge. That is the crawfish that we needed. Yeah. We can get a few of these. We're going to be eating good, dude. Dude, you can eat the claws on one that big, but that tail, yeah. that's some good looking tail, man. That's the best looking tail I've seen in a minute. Oh, he's a creepy crawl crawler. Look at him slapping in there. Right. He should be fine right there. I feel like this would be easier to do in the daytime. They only hide under rocks like this at night. Really? No. The ones with tiny pin pinchers scare me the <gasps> worst. Crawfish. How big? Oh, nice one, brother. Do you think? I think do you we think? Should. I think we take them. Even if they're too small, we can use them for live bait in the morning. We could. That's actually a genius idea because we didn't find any fishing lures in the Amazon store. So, a little crawfish. Might be too small for us to eat, but might be small enough for a big fish to eat. Spot number two, we got a Guthrie's cup, found it on the ground. It'll be our next crawfish thing. We just continue to fill up containers. It's a car bridge. I've never found anybody living under here, but you know, the first for everything. Yep, hopefully we'll find some crawfish living, living under, under here. here. Take it at a 45 degree angle, boys. Always do. Oh. He's steep. Oh gosh. This is just not smart. Super rocky though. <gasps> Giant? No, he, but he's big enough. Got him. I mean, big enough for bait? Bait. Ooh. Yeah, he looks so much bigger when I first saw him. I got so excited. <laughs> oh, ew. Dude, that might've been a snake. <laughs> oh no, I thought it was a fishing lure. I don't know where it went. Oh, it's right here. What is it? Dude, I don't know what this is. Come here quick though. Okay, I'm coming. 
<laughs> what have you found? Uh, it's got, it might be a cord. Dude, don't do that. <laughs> Bro, I lifted up the rock and I think the cord was wrapped around the rock and it jumped. There was a crawfish right here. You see that little line? Yeah. God, it scared the frick out of me. Ooh, there's one hanging on the rock. Oh, he's reaching, he's reaching. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Tiny guy. Did he you? Dude, he almost did. The ones with the painters that are just real tiny, they clamp down and just don't let go. Oh. We have a nice little spark catching area. We're gonna use a battery from the flashlight and a gum wrapper and try to start a fire. <laughs> you can cut the center down as tiny as possible. It makes the current even stronger. Oh, it's smoking already! Oh my gosh! Oh, that smells terrible. That's definitely a carcinogenic. <clears throat> gosh, it dude. So... Ow! <gasps> dude, it instantly caught on fire, dude. That scared the frick out of me. <laughs> I was like, oh, fire! Dude, that was a flame. <laughs> we this almost is crazy, bro. Okay, that, that gives so me what hope did it's you do? Work. What did you do? I don't even know what I did. Oh, 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 Norm! Oh my gosh. Catch. Catch. Do you have it? I got an idea. Oh. on fire dude dude start golly fire. You're gonna do all that oh we're so stupid what one battery two batteries Dang. <laughs> you're a piece of garbage dude Oh, please. Come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> dude, where's the log? Where's, where's the, the battery? No, it's gonna run out, dude. Two hours later. <laughs> Breathe it in, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's clear out a yeah, little bit of room. Can you even make a fire, please? Oh, yeah, that's how we do it. About time, dude. Give me some. Yeah! Dude. Don't step in the fire. <laughs> All right, let's, let's get some sticks on here. Nor? Ew! Ah! Ah! Ew! Ah! So we have audibled out of eating the crawfish, which I know is kind of a downer, but Apparently, if you eat dead crawfish, it can be a really bad thing for your personal health. Yep. We just don't want to get sick. And also, we don't know how to cook crawfish <laughs> for a fire. At least I don't. And we need like a pan and water, which are the two things we didn't get from yeah. the store. We looked the whole store over. Yeah. There was no pans. There was no water. We did have a subscriber give us some cookies. And we found yep. some protein bars. And we have some energy drinks. So we're chilling for the night. We're good to go. We're going to eat up. We are going to use crawfish as bait, throw out some rods. We're going to get into our toasty little body sleeves and try to sleep. <laughs> I know this looks absolutely stupid, but for what we had, we're fully covered. If it rains, our bodies are dry and we're keeping the bugs off of us. So I think we're gonna sleep better in this situation than we did with the last survival challenge. I think I'm actually gonna enjoy this night. Last time me and AO survived, uh, we laid just on the ground with an emergency blanket. This is quite the upgrade. It might look silly, but I don't know. I'm, I'm quite comfy. Comfort, eight out of 10. I'm excited to, to sleep and see if we catch anything tomorrow.
currently trying to warm up, get the fire back going. Yeah. Still have not come out of the bags, but I think we're gonna pack up camp. Somewhat of a successful mission. I mean, we didn't lose. We didn't lose, but we didn't quite win. <laughs> we caught food, but we didn't have the means to cook it. We did have shelter. We made a fire, dude. We, that was huge. We did, with batteries and yes. gum, gum wrappers. So we're slowly inching up into the survival category. Watch out, Bear grills. Yep, man versus wild. More like child versus wild. Ew. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to see any more Amazon lost packages or children tents with grown men, let me know. Follow my man, Norm. He has a YouTube channel. Might not for that much longer, so <laughs> subscribe while you can. Stop. <laughs> I love you guys. Appreciate you. See ya. Bye. Oh, really? Not bad. Yeah, for organic, I feel like it's pretty good for you. Go on. Oh, not again! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my calf! <laughs> Wait, dude, behind you. Where? Thanks for watching, subscribe.